Well, the Prime Minister has been telling us for months now that if we uh, get an Indigenous voice to Parliament, it will usher in a new dawn of racial harmony, of love, peace and tranquility. Uh, there wasn't a lot of love for no voters last night when they arrived for a campaign launch in Adelaide. Guests, including Alex Antic, received a special welcome to country from Yes Voters. <laughs> Now, that reaction must have come as a huge shock to Yes campaigner Noel Pearson, who only the day before said we were on the cusp of a new kind of unity in this country. We are so buoyed by the response all across Australia. We feel the momentum is rising. We feel the cause of unity is upon us. Well, if being called a wanker and an effing racist is this new kind of <laughs> unity, I'd hate to see what Australia's like if we didn't have this new kind of unity upon us. Of course, Paul Barry on the ABC's Media Watch says, no, there's no division, it's all just the media stirring things up. And will the passion of those Sunday rallies lift the Yes campaign? What are you going to vote for? Yes! And once more? Yes! Or Will the media's love of conflict see the message of fear and division dominate the headlines and help push Australians to vote no? Clearly, Caleb, it's not the media's love of conflict. I love what Alex Antic did. He didn't say a word, really. He just filmed the crowd behind him, let them do the talking for themselves and hoisted by their own petard. Well, you can say, oh, it's the media's love of conflict, but the reality is if those dickheads didn't rock up to the front of the, the no launch last night, there would be nothing to report on. They create the story. It's not the media's fault that some numbnuts decide to go out there and call people wankers and racist and whatever else. They did that. And sure, they might not be members of the official Yes campaign, but they have taken it upon themselves Themselves, whether they're the renter crowd or the same people who go and uh, dangle themselves off the Morfitt Street Bridge in Adelaide for Extinction Rebellion, they're probably one and the same. Yeah. But they feel the need mm. to go and do stuff like that. And if you truly believed in the cause of the Yes campaign, you'd be listening to people like Noel Pearson right now. You'd be listening to people like the South Australian Premier Peter Malinowskis, who was very strong on this today, mm. and said... This will not convince one person to change their yeah. mind. It will turn people's minds. I, I, I'm starting to wonder whether they're actually paid actors of the No campaign because they're doing a bloody good job of they turning are. people off, mm. aren't they? Yeah, no one wants to be on the side of that. It's ugly behaviour, yeah. ugly people carrying on. Nobody, and, and I'm sure there are, there's many yes voters out there who see these kinds of displays, including Marsha Langton's uh, abhorrent comments yeah. last week, et cetera, and so on, and cringe. They're not proud yeah. of it either. Yeah. Thank God that at least on the no side, we've got some beautiful bastions that are just fighting the good fight and have not that have not succumbed to this kind of rabid behaviour. But I do think it's indicative of the desperation that's growing as the polls reflect that you're never going to get a double majority here. Mm. It's desperation and it's also anger. People are incensed. They started out thinking they were on top, this was going to be a shoe-in. That hasn't turned out to be the case. And that's how some people are genuinely reacting to the news. And yeah. there was certainly no suggestion that uh, at those rallies over the weekend that uh, no campaigners turned up en masse and decided to abuse campaign people campaigning for the yes side. Please, guys, just leave it at home. Or at least, you know, go and shout into the abyss on social media or something. We what? don't need to see you out and about, block the key, throw it away. Caleb, just before we continue, what will be interesting is this Saturday there's no campaign marches planned for a whole lot of cities around the country. Mm. So just on your point, it'll be interesting to see what if the there are clashes this weekend Indeed. or if those marches are completely peaceful. Well, we know what we're talking about next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. We've always got the news for you here on The Late Debate.